talking about uh, kebabs, which you could also barbecue as well. You're absolutely right there, Eamon and Ruth. Um, what we've got, we've got a lovely, delicious uh, dish here, beef kebabs. Now, traditionally, a beef kebab is just some... You, kind of, you don't imagine that it's going to be the main guy, the main thing on your barbecue, but this will just bring it up to a whole new level because we're going to add a little bit of a crunch to it. We're going to introduce some wonderful seeds Have you got characters? Here's it. your new book, Ainsley's yeah. Caribbean Kitchen. Uh, absolutely. So has this got a Caribbean flavour to it? Very much. This goes along... With, well, of course, the new series starts in a couple yeah. of weeks' time, prime time, 8 p.m. ITV One Monday evening. Lovely, we'll uh, be the there. Uh, yeah, I'm delighted about that. But more importantly, it's all the wonderful flavours, all the wonderful foods that I collected when I was travelling all over the Caribbean. It's not just about jerk chicken, amen, and rice yeah. and peas and ackee and saltfish. Although we love There's those. so much. Well, we love them. They're classics, like a shepherd's pie is a classic yeah. or something like that. So lots of spices anyway. there. What have, you, what have you got in there? Yeah, well, I've got my beef here. Now, I'm, I'm actually cooking some here because we're going to speed things along a little bit. But I've got uh, down here, we've got some garlic and ginger and oil, which I put onto the beef. Now, we all know when it comes to barbecue, it's all about marinating. Mm -hmm. It's all about a allowing something for one or two hours or overnight. That's what we've got in here, that, that beef, been marinated. Yeah, and before I'm going to sort of skewer them up, which I've got a few here, I've got all these wonderful seeds here. I've got coconut root, I've got the sesame, cumin seeds, poppy seeds and chilli. Mm -hmm. And I've put those into my pan. Just toast them off, just Do a couple of minutes. you even toast the desiccated coconut Absolutely, well. oh. and that just releases the oil. And then I put them in the pestle and mortar. Here. This is what you were doing earlier when we were trying That's to do a link. It. You were clunking away <laughs> over here. I was having a good old grind. Yeah. I was, there we are. <laughs> Lovely. And then we'll just sprinkle that on top of that beef that's been marinated, creating that wonderful, toasty kind of crunch, if you like. And all you're doing is kind of very gently massaging those flavours into the beef. And then we just skewer them up. And, you know, literally pop the sort of, so you know, you beef onto a skewer. Ah, you know that. Look, I'm so yeah. glad you pointed that out. Soak because the skewers. They're there. Soak okay. them in the water. What does that do? Uh, stops Stop them from burning. burning on the barbecue, oh, Eamon. They're wooden. Well, a little bit of water is not going to stop burning, is it? It does. Did you see that? Oh, we love it. Soaking He's the such sticks. a bad, isn't he? There Lovely. Are, yeah. Hey, listen, and then once you've, you've done that, we skew them up, pop them onto your barbecue there, and they're talking about... Uh, well, this you is know, a great thing. Take them five, six minutes. Yeah. If you've prepared these for a barbecue and then when you know, it's raining, yeah. you can still do them inside. You can still them, yeah. do them inside. Uh, but don't bring your wood and all that inside. No, don't, you know, we're do talking that. about a, a char grill pan. Only joking. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what about that salsa? I've got here some fresh mint. I've got some parsley, flat leaf parsley there. Mm -hmm. I've got my lovely uh, chilies here that I've just roasted them off in the oven. If parents don't want to put them in, they think it's a little bit too spicy for the kids. Why do you roast Use them? them? Uh, roast them, bring out the sweetness, tenderise them, soften them. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like roasting garlic off. You know when you uh, roast yeah. garlic off, it slightly changes the flavour. Mm -hmm. To that, we've got our lemon juice. Going in there, just a squeeze of lemon juice, if you like, you can squeeze. Eamon, I know you like a squeeze. Do you want to have a little squeeze? Where do you put it? There, in, in there, the, in the, right, here, right, we right, right. there we are. Pop those in there. Beautiful. You've got to I give it some hip action, Always Eamon, good at that, any roof. Ainsley gives it a bit of hip action at the oh, same time, that... don't you? That's it. Yeah, man, That's it. me and you squeezing. Hello there. <laughs> yeah, hello, lemon. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> lovely. Oh, lovely. Uh, <laughs> get me going now. And flitch that up. OK, literally, add, then add your oil. Again, a little bit of oil. <laughs> Four or five tablespoons of oil in there. OK, again, blitz that up. Let's lock that. Season it up with your salt and pepper, which is what very, very simple. What oils do they use in the Caribbean? Is it olive oil still? Um, do they use different... Yeah, they, they do use, because, you know, you can see that uh, one of the reasons in the Caribbean why there's quite a lot of hips and stuff going, there's too much palm oil, really. Oh, palm oil. They okay. tend to fry a lot of things, yeah. you know? And, of course, we move much slower because the heat... Yeah. You know, we, we, we had a hot well, day the chill. other day. We didn't walk around fast here, did we? Yeah. Everyone was walking at a kind of... Almost like a Caribbean pace. Yeah, you know that feeling? I, know, I know that feeling very well. <laughs> OK, that's very, very simple. We've got that made up. I'm serving that, Ruth, yeah. with the um, cashew, coconut and watercress salad. In here, I've got my olive oil mm. and I've got the beautiful uh, vinegar in there. I just want to put a bit of that, that uh, honey in oh, there. That's, far this morning, that's honey. OK, so yeah, am I that's whisking? It. That's, yeah, whisk away. 
Oh, look at that drizzle. Show us how to crack a coconut. Yeah, I will do. I will do. Do you want to, do you want to have a go of it yourself? Well, look at this. No, you need to... I've never cracked a coconut. Look, what you do is hold it there. No, yeah. it's, no it's not going to go okay. anywhere. You're fine. And just rotate it round. Oh, it's like a... Oh! Ooh. There it is. Oh, look at look that. that. Very nicely done. I've seen that done can, before. Yeah, and then you can split that, and that just comes out. And, Ruth, you just put that over there, my lovely. And are we mixing that? Oh, just yeah, just get, like get, that? yeah, here we are, Eamon. Just want to get that and just... Yeah. As she puts that in, both forks, just fork that through for me. Just lift that up a little bit. Beautiful. <laughs> what are you laughing um, for? Nothing. See, every time I try and do something useful, you just mock You're me. It's just a bit delicate. Yeah. Like get in there and like yeah. mix there's it up. not enough honey juice on it. You've got to yeah. mix it up. Yeah. All right then. <laughs> there not enough That's juice lovely. in there. That's lovely. Yeah. All right. Not much time then. Hurry yeah. up, Eamon. Thank you. All <laughs> right. Um. Right. Now let's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. Here we are, love. Bit of that watercress on there like that. Okay. Make sure you get some of those lovely nuts on there too, and then we go over to our beef kebabs. <laughs> And we just line them on there like that. It does all smell very, so very lovely when you're in our kitchen. Spices and lime and all sorts of gorgeous. Oh. And then we finish that off. A nice here lime shirt with that as well. Beautiful salsa. Remember that beautiful chili salsa yeah. that I made? Just drizzle it on like that. Be a bit liberal, but just let it go. And there it is. Looks beautiful, ain't it? Very, very simple. Easy to come together, lots of lovely flavours. Very, chili, yeah. Just pull, pull a piece off with your fingers. I'm going to have the not so chilly one. Yeah, there yeah. we are. Okay, can yeah. you get that off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you think of that? I like the spice. Mm. You like the spice? It's like a slow, the line, you know, like, it yeah. all comes through. And that little crunch with it, you know, so you, you, you want something a little crust, crustiness. Like a crust. Yeah, mm. on, onto your beef kebab. I'm yeah. so, you like, so glad you like that. That's lovely. That's yeah, beautiful. Very nice. Tender beef as well. Mmm. The secret is to marinate it. You know, yeah. I often say to people, marinate your beef, even if it's a bit of lamb, whatever you've got, Paul. Yeah. And with fish, don't. Fish, really. 20 minutes for your fish, maybe an hour if it's a large whole fish, but 20 minutes for any fillets because they break down the fibre of the fish, especially when you put lemon juice or vinegar because the acidity starts yeah. to cook. So what sort of cuts Spices of beef would you lovely. use? Oh, uh, strip loin. Yeah. yeah. Strip loin, you know, be really, really good for that. And all the details of the recipe, because obviously lots going on there on art this morning. At Very Thank nice. You, That's an absolute pleasure.